Welcome to part two of Bailey's Q&A. So thank you, I don't know, oh crap. Okay, you have to do that. Thank you for all the questions. <laughs> You're not gonna cut that part out. <laughs> thank you for all the questions. There were so many questions we had to do this in two parts. So this is part two of Bailey's Q&A. Um, okay. Question number one for part two, which is number seven. Total, yeah. What's yep. the question? Hold on, I'm trying to find it. Oh, okay, this is from 454 Packer. Sorry if I miss misspelled that. Miss said it. Uh, Dear Bailey, how do you get your tail, your big tail to wag so nicely? Is there a switch or something? Right here on the top of her head. <laughs> There's a white little patch that you just push. Beep, beep, beep. All beagles have a straight back tail. Bailey's curls, and we've had a few people comment on her video saying she's not like a purebred full beagle because her tail is curved. So I don't know, both her parents were beagles. As far as we can go back on her family tree, they're beagles. So why her tail curls, I don't know. But, um, but no, she, she's just... She's just, she's just happy. She's just happy. She's always wagging her tail. Always. Sometimes I think she gets so excited that I think it smacks. I wonder if it would ever smack the side of her. Well, her bum. <laughs> her bum. Some, yeah, like she's doing the twist, so. Uh, that she gets super excited. Nope. She's yeah. a happy dog. Yeah. Okay, next one. Ah, this is a good one. Okay. This is from... Can you pronounce it? Uh, Tiong Yong Q. I okay. hope I got that right. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Okay. Um, where is Bailey born? Did Bailey keep in touch with her siblings? Bailey's on Instagram, but we haven't found any of her siblings on Instagram, so she hasn't kept in touch with her siblings. Uh, and Bailey was born on a farm just outside the city of Chilliwack, British Columbia in Canada. Uh, it's about a two hour drive from Vancouver. Uh, when we had decided we wanted to get a beagle, we searched online and we found a couple of breeders. Uh, there was one closer to where we live, uh, but they never got back to me. So the one in, uh, actually there was one in Chilliwack and one in Abbotsford, about yeah. half an hour from where she was born. So we checked out two breeders uh, in the uh, Fraser Valley, it's called in British Columbia. And after meeting with both breeders, we were more comfortable with a breeder from the farm. Because they were breeding beagles for like 20 years or something like that. And I think she had four sisters and... Five brothers? Five brothers. It was like, a big litter. Yeah. Um, we knew we wanted a girl. Yeah. They brought out uh, the female puppies in a basket for us. And Bailey was the only, you know, of the four or five female puppies in this laundry basket. She wanted nothing to do with her siblings. They were biting and the ears and fighting and everything. Bailey's like, I want nothing to do with you. And that's the kind of puppy, kind of dog we wanted. Because I work from home and I need someone calm just to <laughs> just to chill out. She's just not calm. Well, no, she does okay now that she's older. Oh, yeah. I mean, when she's a pup, yeah, they're all excited. But now, like I said, she'll, she just likes to hang out. Um, uh, she thinks she's a lap dog, but she's too big to be a lap dog. Oh, no, she's not. Look at her. Uh, Bailey was actually the runt of the litter. She was the yep. tiniest little one. Uh, she was only four pounds when we first got her. Yep, so she was super tiny. Now she's 22. 22 pounds. So it's a good size for a little beagle girl. With her size, she should be somewhere between 20 to 22 pounds, uh, which I think is about 10 kilos. And uh, so we try to keep her weight in there. It's hard in the winter time. She's not getting the exercise and uh, activity she needs uh, so we cut back on her food a little bit but uh yeah no, thank you uh, she uh we tried to contact the breeders to see um if they had any more puppies or what happened to her siblings but the day we picked her up was the day they gave away all the puppies 
and uh, every 15 minutes there was another person coming by to, to pick up dogs. Yeah. So we're not sure where they went. I would have loved to have been able to have contact with someone, so then you can have like puppy dates and she could play with them. And yeah, stuff. they're they're not but... too far from our house, but uh, no, we've yeah. lost contact uh, with her siblings and uh, with the breeder. So we'll uh, maybe we could try to get a hold of them. We told them she's gonna be a famous YouTube star one day. Right, Bailey? Yeah. Okay, next one. Okay. Hi. Um, this is from uh, Patty Bell. How does Bailey handle separation anxiety? Not very well. Well. To you. What? Like, if, if you go on the road, okay, she'll sit up on that couch and look outside waiting for you to come. If I come home from work, I let her out of the cage. She doesn't say hi to me. She runs downstairs to see if you're home. When you're gone, she sleeps on your side of the bed. She won't cuddle me. Like, she misses you like crazy. Then when you do come home, she wants nothing to do with me, still. And then she'll follow you all around the house. Yeah, well... She has a little separation. If we all leave the house... Then she's fine. Well, we have to put Bailey in her kennel. She's kennel trained. Uh, and when she's in her kennel, um, she, like, that's her home. That's where she feels safe and protected. So when we put her in there and leave the house, she just falls asleep and she just chills in there all day long unless she hears a noise or something that she'll kind of... Or she has to go to the washroom then. She yeah, she might get a little antsy. But uh, if you leave her open in the house and then everybody leaves, then she freaks out all the time. Yeah, she'll run around and She's help wondering why me. you didn't take me. We have little cameras in the house so we can see what happens when we leave. But if she's not in her kennel, she's just roaming around free in the house and everybody leaves, she freaks out. She cannot handle that for a second. No. But if she put her in her little bed, we call it her home, she goes in her home, she gets a treat, and then for gone for a couple hours, she has a nap, she sleeps, she's quite comfortable in there. It's a big cage, she's got lots of room to move. Yeah. Uh, so. When she's in there, she doesn't have separation anxiety. But even on our camper and our trailer, you know, if we go out the door for 10 seconds, she's clawing at the screen door trying to get out. So, well, you, yeah, you went to go grab lunch. And she freaked out. She freaked out. She, she sat here the whole time looking out the window. I don't know if that's separation anxiety or just maybe she just wanted to come along. Did I don't she know. freak out yesterday when I left? Or two days ago? No. <laughs> what else this shit? So, it's not, I don't know if that's separation anxiety. Is she just wants to hang out with someone? Yeah. Well, but I definitely know. The key like... is kettle, or kettle, kettle train. Not kettle train. Kennel training. Kennel training. I'm having tea, so I got kettle on my mind. But um, no, uh, it, it's it's the the, the kennel. I, I've had some people comment that it's mean to lock them up inside of a kennel, but they're safe in there. Roaming around in a house, especially beagles, they know how to jump on counters. She can get into the drawer, she can get into the garbage, into the. You basically have to puppy proof your house, which is going to be tough, right? So I uh, just get a nice large kennel for them. You know, they'll learn that's their safe spot. Enough when she's in trouble, when she knows she's done something wrong, where does she hide? Well, uh, under, the, under bed, the bed. But she'll also go in her kennel too, because that's yeah. her safe spot. Or it's right? big enough that she can walk around in it. She has a bed. It's a little resort. It's yeah, it is. It's quite big for her, so. Yeah, when she's in there, she doesn't have any separation anxiety. If she no. hears a noise or whatever, she'll wake up and mm -hmm. try to, you know, uh, she'll get anxious what that noise is. But uh, if we don't have her in that kennel, we leave the house. Yeah, she's she does fine. not do well. It's gotta, she's got to be put in her kennel. Yeah. Okay, last but not least. Last question, Bailey Boo. Okay, this is. Um, two people asked what is um, Bailey's favorite toy. So we have Cheryl Winters and Bloxy Minor asked, uh, what are your favorite toys? I have a three-year-old female beagle. I like to give her things to play with. She does not like balls. <laughs> That's no. a shame. Um, and then Bloxy Minor asked, what is Bailey's favorite toy? So um, her favorite toy... Where are you going? Mm. She's always, oh. yeah, we're always playing. You're gonna take off now? Come here. Take him up here. Now we got her all excited. This little What's blue this? ring we've had since like day one. 
I think that's the Christmas I, I bought it. No, I forget what I bought it for. Hey, I've you! Had it for a long What's time. going on? She sees the red light. No, 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 no! <laughs> Come here! You're not help. Come here! Come here! Up here! Come, Come on. on! All right. Oh, hi. Let's finish this up. Okay, have a seat. Okay, have to. Come here. Come here. Lay down. We're almost done. Okay, so let's. Can we just chill for a sec? <laughs> Definitely one of her favorite toys. I think any favorite toy for a beagle is anything they can destroy. Where's uh, that? Uh... The rope? Yeah, where's oh, the this... rope we got her for Christmas? So I got her um, a toy for Christmas that had a tennis ball and then a rope in between the tennis ball. So we should have videotaped her doing it. Uh, tennis ball didn't last more than three minutes. And then these... She's just chewed the heck. They were attached. This is like, rope. Like this. But like, <clears throat> it was heavy Did plastic. you do this? What's this? What's yeah, this? so... Um, this? If you give them anything that they can rip and tear, they will sit there until it is just... Like absolutely disintegrated before they they stop playing with it. So, um, I think her favorite. Well, I don't even want to call it a toy, but the L A S E R, the laser. <laughs> um, that she goes crazy <laughs> over. Oh yeah. Uh, and then uh, we got a like a blue ring. Uh, we she had that. The, she likes uh, the Kong, that pink thing. Yeah, sometimes. Just because it bounces really good. Uh, we used to have that bone that lit up. Till she destroyed, she destroyed it that one twice. too. We have to. All her toys have to be rubber, <laughs> so that she doesn't shred it and <laughs> yeah. But any rope or uh, like a tennis ball, uh, anything she can chew into and rip and destroy and peel and yeah. It's just uh, seen how fun it was trying to decorate the Christmas tree this year. She wanted to get it all the little Santas that I had. I am and sure. She smelled all the stuffing inside. Or little stuffies. Nothing. Like get a little teddy bear or something with the fluff inside and uh, not gone. even five minutes. Uh, anyway, the squeaky inside of it too. Gone. She'll just tear it apart until she can get at that squeaky thing. And then she just destroys it. So, are you done? Bailey, can you come say goodbye to all your friends? Come all on. your fans? Come here. Come here. Up here. Bailey, come. Let's wrap this up. Okay. All right, you said? There we go. Oh, it's a good girl. Good stuff. All right, so that wraps up all the questions that we had. Um, we'll definitely do this again in the future. I'll give it some time, and um, it's always uh, fun to answer questions about Bailey and about being a parent of a beagle. Yeah, um, hopefully you guys learned some stuff about. It's a heck of a challenge. About her. But, uh, yeah, uh, one last shameless plug I did in the last video and I'll do in this one too. Uh, Kayla and I have a vlog channel as well. Um, so if you want to see more of Bailey, uh, we've got a separate channel that's um, sometimes got Bailey in it and sometimes we do stuff on our trips and vacations and our crazy things. adventures. Yeah, we've gone on some adventures with the dog and um, be great. She's got lots of fans and be great if some of you came and checked out our channel as, as well. So it'll be at the end of the video in a thumbnail and I'll put a link in the description below as well. I think that's it. Anything else? No, I think that's it. Bailey, right. can you say bye? Hold on. Bye. bye. Bailey, can you say please? Bailey, do you want this? What's this? So you can't lie to her. When she finds out there's nothing there. Can you say? No. Bailey, can you say bye? Can you say please? Say please. But if you don't have food. No. Nope. No, not. Bart. Bailey, say please.